This is Bihar in India, one of the many places in the world where people suffer from leishmaniasis. The parents are worried that the children are sick. Visiting Professor Sham Sundar has come to examine them. And you can see he's crying, he's not very, doing not very well. You can see his bones are very prominent. The belly is protruding, he's got a splenomegaly. You can see she's absolutely white. And a little bit of, I think she has a little bit of a jaundice as well. The telltale signs of leishmaniasis. What this child needs, and quickly, is treatment. This is Professor Sham Sundar's special leishmaniasis ward. He has devoted much of his career to fighting the disease, and everyone on this ward gets free treatment. Professor Sundar suspects five-year-old Nishrak has visceral leishmaniasis, or Kalarazar, the most virulent form of the disease. And splenomegaly. And she also, because of the heart failure, has edema. The sandfly deposits parasites in the body, which lodge in the liver, spleen, and bone marrow. Absolutely white. This is a very sick child, and if we don't start treatment quickly, we might lose them. The old treatment was to inject patients with highly toxic antimony compounds. Not only is it expensive, it has over the years become increasingly ineffective, as the parasite has developed resistance to it. But if you don't treat this disease, almost everybody dies. When she's well, she goes out with friends, and she does the chores at home. Nishrak was just such a victim. She arrived at the hospital too late for them to help. The breakthrough came unexpectedly from the other side of the world, in the German town of Göttingen. Professor Hans Eibel and colleagues at the Max Planck Research Institute had been working on an anti-cancer drug when they came across a new substance called miltifocine. As is routine with anti-tumor substances, they tested it against parasites in laboratory mice. We had very great success in mice. We could heal Lashmaniasis in mice, and that was the starting point in considering clinical trials on humans too. When the results were published, Professor Eibel got World Health Organization backing for clinical trials, and Professor Sundar lobbied hard to have them carried out in his hometown of Bihar, one of the poorer areas where the need is greatest. We have seen people dying without treatment for want of money, for want of drug. So if one is able to do anything which is positive, I think one has uh, done something for, for the community, for his motherland. A series of clinical trials have proven that the new drug works. Within a month, over 95% of patients were cured. And because it can be taken in tablet form instead of painful injections, it is cheaper and easier to administer. Side effects will be healthy. It's afebrile, no fever. Very good. Very good. For four weeks, this drug would cure almost everybody. And I couldn't have asked for more. And this drug was well tolerated. So I thought, really, uh, this drug could be the first drug which would be able to uh, come to the market and could help the human beings suffering from this disease. This vital breakthrough does not mean the disease is beaten. The drug has yet to be licensed. And those outside the special clinical trials still face long stays in hospital with the old treatment. My dream is that once this drug, which has now crossed all the hurdles of development, uh, comes to the market, we should be able to prescribe, and not myself, the a whole lot of qualified physicians in, in this state of Bihar could treat Kalajar successfully just by writing a prescription of the drug. Back in Germany, there was an unexpected side effect when the results of the clinical trials were published. Yeah, Several yeah. vets rang up to see if the new medicine would work on dogs. It had spectacular results. The dogs that have Lashmaniasis infection mostly come from southern European countries. And the parasite can, of course, be transferred to people. 
So it's good if one can greatly reduce the risk of dogs carrying the parasite and passing it on. It makes absolute sense to treat dogs so as to prevent the parasite being passed on to humans. I think that our new substance, Miltifosine, is a very important breakthrough in this field. In a few months, the new drug should be licensed for sale. One chance discovery could solve what has become a major health problem in 88 countries around the world. <laughs>